Hello, my name is Flex Dan, and I just wanted to make a video to highlight the disappearance of Alaji Mahmoud Sise and Ibu Job. We're calling for the immediate release of Alaji Mahmoud Sise and Ibu Job. The constitutional limit to detain suspects for three days without charge has now turned into three years. When will the Jame government be true to his words and release these innocent young men who went to contribute their quota towards national development? How long must their families continue to suffer without their son, brother, uncle and father? How long must their children call out daddy and not get a response? When I think of how many Gambians could have benefited from job creation, my heart bleeds with frustration. They could have decided to stay in their comfortable jobs or invest into another country. Trust me when I say many Gambians have been forced to do just that. This does not encourage Gambians to contribute towards national development. Only one person, Jame, benefits from this as he expands his campaign to monopolize every sector of business in the country. The truth is Alaji, Mahmoud Sisi and Ibu Job are like Akon. We all know Akon is busy lighting up Africa. Apart from Gambia, and I have credible sources that inform me that Akon definitely did consider expanding this Light Up Africa campaign in Gambia. And security was one of his main concerns, which is why he desisted from coming down there. These two young men are like business entrepreneurs coming to expand business in the country to support Gambians, innocent Gambians. If you see yourself like these young men, I challenge you to make a video, spread the word about these young men that have been arrested and held without any charges for three years now. Enough is enough. So we call on the US government to demand for the release of these two US Gambian citizens that were abducted in the Gambia. And we call for the release of all victims of enforced disappearances and people held beyond the 72 hours limit in the Gambia. So I challenge all my colleagues, please make a video and make sure that people are aware of this atrocity that has to stop. 21 years is enough and this is why I particularly reject Jamez pardon and I demand that he be true to his words and release people without charge. Thank you very much for listening and once again please make a video for these young men and call out everybody that you know has been held beyond 72 hours to be released. That's what the constitution says. That's what the law says. Not what we are saying. So um, thank you very much. Please keep on advocating for the enforced disappearances and people held without trial. Enough is enough. We are sick and tired of Gambians being forced to stay out of their country. Those within their country being forced to flee. Enough is enough. Enough of that. So enforced disappearances no more. Um, thank you very much. Please, I challenge you. Go on, make the video. Make sure that people are aware of these young men and the countless others forced into exile and those in disappearances. Thank you very much.